Hey guys, it's Amberly, and Dante, he is our male pinstripe, and he is insanely active all the time, which is nice, but also troublesome at times. But I mentioned earlier in another video that there are certain things you can do to keep the humidity up in your tank. When you have larger tanks, it's harder to keep the humidity up. Um, where we live, it's kind of hard to keep the humidity up. So if you live in a more um, humid climate, or if you have a smaller tank, you're probably going to want to look at a different setup. So I figured I would show off Dante's tank. Yeah, sorry guys, you're upside down. So it's another simple setup. There's two different kinds of substrate, two highs, hot, cool. Um, his favorite plant that he's pretty much demolished at this point. There's a water dish um, on the hot and wet side, big enough for him to bathe in, which is important. The difference here between our other tank would be the kinds of substrates we used. On the hot side, the hot and wet, we use Reptibark, which I mentioned in another video. Um, it holds humidity, but it doesn't hold a lot, which is excellent. It keeps our humidity at a good range of temperature here. A <laughs> good range of temperature. Oh my god. It keeps our humidity at stable percentages that we would like to see. But on the uh, dry side, we have Aspen. It's very dry. Snakes seem to really like it. So that's basically the only difference between uh, the humidity levels keeping the levels stable is the kind of substrate you use. Sometimes humidity depends on placement. As I said, we do keep our water source directly under the light because it puts off a little bit more humidity. And we try to make sure just that things don't really get in the way. On the cool side, it doesn't matter as much, but on the hot side, some of the placement of the things you have can affect the humidity. So that's about it. I just wanted to say hello. And, sorry, Dante wanted to say hello. You can see he's giving me a lot of troubles right now. All I got is his tail because he will not hold still. Huh. So you won't hold still. Oh, you want to give me... Oh, you gave me kisses. You're such a sweetheart. Most people say to not let snakes go near your face, but it's trust. When you can let them go near your face and know that they're not going to bite you, it's a good sign. It's also a good sign if you can go near their head and they don't jerk away. That means they trust you too. So, hopefully you can all get this close with your ball pythons. Um, and, <laughs> as always, have a wonderful day.